What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with another Marvel review, and in this case it's going to be the series that kicks off Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and that's with the TV, or the Disney Plus show, WandaVision. So, as of January 15th, the first two episodes have been released, and while they did not really progress too much in the storyline, they did bring up um, one potential story arc that... Um, um, is probably going to be the overarching story for Phase 4. So essentially in these first two episodes as far as the episodes go, we have um, Scarlet Witch aka uh, Wanda Maximoff and Vision living out their lives in suburbia. So um, they've gotten randomly, officially or unofficially married and um, they moved into a new house. So um, basically, they're going to, they're trying to live out their lives by concealing their powers. So the big thing to know here is that I think from brief reading online is that supposedly this takes place after um, Endgame. So for some reason or somehow, uh, Vision is alive. But by the end of the first episode, and as a po bit of an Easter egg in the second episode, um, supposedly the world that we're watching. Um, Wanda and Vision live out is not necessarily a real world and that they're living in a simulation. Potentially in Wanda's mind, um, to what end we're not sure. It might be a form of control, but basically this these two episodes introduce the potential for an organization called SWORD. So it's short for Sentient World Observation and Response Department. Um, which essentially is a um, arm of S.H.I.E.L.D., but rather than focusing on the defense of Earth, it focuses on, as a, or it's as a counterterrorism and intelligence a agency dealing with extraterrestrial threats to Earth. So rather than focusing inward as defense, it focuses outwards to deal with the universe a as a whole. So this kind of pans out as far as um, how we're ending Endgame because now that the planet knows about or knows more about um, other planets and galaxies and races and cultures and all of that, um, this kind of works as a, f a form of control to protect the planet going forward. And to me, it kind of ties in what we saw at the end of, of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. with all their time traveling and dealing with the Kree and the Kroll as far as what... Um, uh, director of Furies up to so um, essentially while the episodes did not of WandaVision didn't really progress much we do see that the potential for where they're going with phase four so um, I don't well I can't say that for sure um, and I, I don't really have much else to say with the episodes because for example the first episode felt felt like a variation on I Love Lucy and then the second episode felt like a variation of I Dream of Genie. so the I don't know to what end or why Wanda would be in the simulation um, aside from maybe being a form of control because of her powers or um, they're in some sort of um, um, total recall kind of situation where she, they went into a machine to control her mind and she doesn't know what's reality and what isn't. But um, I have a feeling that the Phase 4 is going to deal with S.W.O.R.D. and potentially how Earth is going to now interact on the galactic scale and how um, all of that plays out. And if we do even see the reintroduction of S.H.I.E.L.D. or if S.W.O.R.D. becomes a new S.H.I.E.L.D. and they work hand in hand as far as defending Earth and um, also being the, or having the two departments work together as far as defense and offense. So um, it looks like at the moment, as far as I can tell, that there's going to be nine episodes in the, the season of WandaVision. I don't know if it's a limited run series or if it's going to be multi a uh, multi-season arc, but um, in any case, I'm kind of curious to see where they go from here and what they do with it. Um, so that's really all I got for this review. I mean, as I mentioned, the episodes were kind of kind of throwbacks to um, classic TV uh, like I Love Lucy, I Dream of Genie, and of the sorts of that kind. And 
I guess we'll have to see what they present as far as the rest of the season, as far as why uh, Wanda would be in a simulation and why Vision's alive, or maybe because Vision makes her happy is the easiest way to maintain control over her mind. But because she's now seen that um, beekeeper guy who potentially might be a member of um, S.W.O.R.D. and he has to go in and clean up certain aspects of the simulation. Um, that's why he was walking through the sewer. Like that's that entry and exit point. And now that she's seen, now that Wanda's seen him, it's going to be harder to maintain that simulation. So we'll see what they, um, how they take it from here, or what they do um, from here as far as rounding out. Um, the season and how they tie it into phase four of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So that's all there is for this particular review. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to do an episode by episode review um, or if I'm just going to wait till the end of the season to do a full season review, but I thought I'd get this out just for my initial speculation of where they're going to go from here for the season and the potential overarching storyline for the Marvel, Cin Marvel Cinematic Universe for Phase 4. So that's all there is for this review. So if you want to get in touch with me, provide your feedback or anything like that, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website's PatelN01.com for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. Um, but thanks for tuning in, and until next time.